In today's video, I am going to solve the problems related to skewness and the kurtosis using the four moments about the mean. See here, in my earlier video, I have explained you what is skewness and what is kurtosis. And in today's video, I am going to calculate the problem related to skewness and kurtosis using the moments. So please go to the playlist and watch what is skewness and what is kurtosis as they are the most important topics in statistics. And now, let's look into the problem. From the following distribution, calculate the first four moments about the mean. Skewness based on moments and kurtosis based on moments. See here, the income and the frequency are given. So, income, the class interval is from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. And the frequency values are 1, 3, 4, 2. So, in order to find the moments, so we need this table here. The computation of moments, skewness and kurtosis is done through this table. The first one, the income sources here, the class interval is given from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and 30 to 40. So here, whenever the class intervals are given, the mid value is M is given as 0 plus 10 by 2. This is 10 by 2 which is 5 and 10 plus 20, 30 by 2, 15. 20 plus 30 by 2, 50 by 2, this is 25 and 30 plus is 40, which is equal to 70 divided by 2, that is 35. So, we got the M values and the frequency from the table that is 1, 3, 4, 2. See here, 1, 3, 4, 2. And the next one, in order to find the moments, we need D here. D is nothing but M minus 15 by, I have selected 15 here. So, this is M minus 15 by 10. See here, what is M here? 5. 5 minus 15 divided by 10. 10 is nothing but the length of the class interval. That is 10 minus 0, which is equal to 10. 20 minus 10, which is equal to 10. See here, 5 minus 15 by 10, which is equal to minus 1. 15 minus 15 by 10, 0. 25 minus 15 by 10, 10 by 10, 1. 35 minus 15 by 10, this is 20 by 2, which is equal to 2 here. 10 which is equal to 20 by 10 which is equal to 2 here. So after getting D here we need to multiply these two FD. So FD is nothing but 1 into minus 1 is minus 1, 3 into 0 is 0, 4 into 1 is 4 and 2 2 is a 4. Clear? And we need D square here. D square is nothing but 1 0 1. Here it is 4. If I multiply here the value here is 1 into 1 is 1, 3 into 0 is 0 and uh, this is 4 into 1 square 4 and 2 into this is uh, 2 square 4 this value is 8 and next we need d cube value so after finding d cube values and if you multiply here d cube value minus 1 whole cube is again minus 1 0 1 cube is again 1 and 2 cube value is 8 8 2 is 16 and the rest are all same that is minus 1 0 4 minus 1 0 4 d power 4. So, if you make a fourth uh, power here, this will be minus 1 power 4 is plus 1. 1 into 1 is plus 1. 0 into 3 is 0. The next one here is d power 4. 1 power 4 is 1. 1 into 4 is 4. And 2 power 4 16 into 2 is 32. See here, clearly after making an addition. So, here total mid value is here. So, n is equal to 10 here. And the next one here, this is 5 plus 1. So, this is n is equal to 10 here. The, the frequency total n is equal to 10. And see, the next one, fd value. So, fd sigma fd value is a 7 and sigma fd square value is 13. fd cube value is 19 and this one is 37. Clear? So, after getting all these values, we need to calculate the four moments and after getting the moments, we have to calculate the skewness as well as the kurtosis. So, here sigma fd value is 7, sigma fd square value is 13 from the table and sigma fd cube value is 19 and sigma fd power 4 is 37. C. the length of the class interval is 10 and the total frequency n is equal to here 10. We need to calculate the moments about the mean here. The first one mu 1 dash. Mu 1 dash is nothing but sigma fd by n into c. Sigma fd by n into c. What is sigma fd? This is 7. What is n here? n is equal to 10 into c. The length of the class interval which is equal to 10. The value here is 7. Clear. 
so here mu1 dash value is equal to 7 next mu2 mu2 dash value is equal to sigma fd square by n into c square here sigma fd square value is very clear as 13 and n value the total frequency value is 10 and c the length of the class interval 10 square here if you cancel this one 13 into 10 this is 130 here mu2 dash value is equal to 130 and the next one mu3 dash third moment here is sigma f d cube by n into c cube sigma f d cube value is clear as 19 and n total frequency value is 10 into c the length of the class interval 10 10 cube so if i cancel for one time this is 10 square 100 19 into 100 this value is 1900 this is nothing but the third moment and the next one fourth moment here is sigma f d power 4 by n into c power 4 what is sigma f d power 4 this is 37 n value the total frequency 10 into this is 10 power 4 the value here is 37,000 this is the fourth moment so after getting all the moments see here the first moment about the mean here value is mu1 mu1 is equal to mu1 dash minus mu1 dash what is mu1 dash here this is 7 7 minus 7 the value here is the first moment about the mean is equal to 0 and the second moment about the mean mu2 value is equal to mu2 dash minus mu2 dash whole square please remember all this formula here what is mu2 dash mu2 dash is nothing but 130 minus see here mu1 dash whole square so this value is mu1 dash whole square What is mu1 dash here? 7 square which is equal to 81. So we got the second moment about the mean as 81 and next one mu3 dash. This is mu3 dash. What is mu3 dash value? This is 1900 minus mu2 dash. What is mu2 dash value? Mu2 dash value is nothing but 130 and mu1 dash value is nothing but 7 here. So after substituting 7 here plus 2 into mu1 dash whole cube that is 2 into 7 cube the value here is minus 144 and the fourth moment value here m4 mu4 value is mu4 dash what is mu4 dash value 37,000 and 4 into m3 dash m1 dash plus 6 into m2 dash m2 m2 whole square minus 3 times of m1 whole power 4 so all the values after substituting and using your calci the value here is 14817 so after getting mu1 mu1 mu2 mu3 and mu4 so all the moments about the mean after getting all the four values so we need to calculate the skewness based on the moments so here the skewness based on the moments is nothing but it depends upon so the is studied by b1 beta 1 sorry Beta 1 is nothing but mu 3 square by mu 2 whole cube. So this value is what is mu 3 square. So mu 3 square, mu 3 is nothing but 144 whole square by what is mu 2? 81. So this is 81 whole cube. The value here is 0 0.039. And next one we have to calculate the kurtosis. So the kurtosis is studied by beta 2. So the beta 2 value is nothing but mu 4 by mu 2 square. What is mu 4 value? So here the mu 4 value is nothing but 14817 by what is mu 2? So this value is mu 2 which is equal to 81. So this is 81 square. The value here is 2.26. As we know that if beta 2 value is less than 3, the curve is more peaked and it is platycurtic. So this is platycurtic. See here. So this is not more big. This is flatty. As it is very flat, the curve is very flat. It is known as a platy cortex as beta 3 value is less than 3. So this is what it is asked to show that. So let me explain you. We have to find the four moments about the mean and we have to find the skewness as well as um, kurtosis using the moments. So first, this is the computation of moments, skewness and kurtosis. First, the class intervals, the next one mid values, these are the frequency values, this is D, F, D, F, D square, F, D cube and F, D power 4. So we have to add up all these. The frequency total is nothing but N and C is the, nothing but the length of the class interval. 
So after getting all these, all these summations, we need to calculate mu1 dash, mu2 dash, mu3 dash and mu4 dash using this formula. So these formulas are very, very important. And after getting all these, so we have to find the first moment about the mean. So this is the formula and second moment about the mean. This is the formula, third moment about the mean and fourth moment about the mean. After getting all the four values, so we have to find out the skewness. So how to find the skewness? Skewness based on moments is studied by B1, beta 1. So here we have to calculate beta 1 as mu3 square by mu2 whole cube. And these are the values here. If I substitute, this is 0 0.039. And we have to calculate the kurtosis. The kurtosis is studied by beta 2. And this is the formula for beta 2. Beta 2 is nothing but mu4 by mu2 square. So as we have mu4 value and mu2 value and after substituting we got 2.26 as this beta2 value is less than 3. So the curve is very flat. So therefore it is called as a platycortic. So this is not more peaked and this is more flat and this is platycortic. As you have studied in my earlier video about the kurtosis and skewness, if you go through those videos and it, this topic will be very clear and these are the most important questions and definitely you can solve by your own. So here these are the review questions. So every question is very important and everything is ready in the playlist. See here, explain kurtosis. So explain Kurto skewness and define skewness and distinguish between the positive and negative skewness and what are the tests for skewness. Next question is define kurtosis. What is kurtosis and how does it differ from skewness and explain the terms liptocortic, mesocortic and platycortic. All the uh, definitions and all the formulae and all the problems are ready in the playlist. Go through the playlist once and definitely your preparation will be damn easy and please pass it on to friends as many friends as you can. That is the greatest help to this channel and thank you so much for your support till date and thank you for watching.